why is my rabbit shedding their fur and is this normal? The quick answer is yes, this is completely normal. Similar to dogs, you are going to find that your rabbits will shed their fur multiple times throughout their lifespan, and this is called molting. We're gonna jump into the exact definition of molting and a little bit of details around rabbit shedding and what you can do to help your rabbit during this time. I'm Danielle of the Slidaro Farm, where we bring new content every Wednesday and Sunday so that you can learn about homesteading and farming. But without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about molting. Throughout the lifespan of your rabbit, you're going to notice that they're always kind of shedding a little bit of fur throughout their life. But there are going to be larger molter seasons or times throughout their life where they're going to have a larger amount of molting that does happen. And these are going to be one when the rabbit is molting its baby coat. So this is going to be around at their four to five month year old stage. And they're going to be shedding off all of their baby fur and they're going to be growing in a much larger adult fur. So this is going to be a relatively larger molt. And then you're going to notice that throughout the year there are going to be two large molts. So you're going to have basically at the end of summer they're going to do this probably um, in the late summer early fall. So right now we're in fall so we're going to be seeing one of our rabbits actual summer molts. But you're going to notice that at this time period, they're going to have a blowout of fur and they're going to have a much larger amount of shedding. And then this is again going to happen at the end of winter where they are going to have a large blowout of fur again, where they are basically getting rid of their winter fur and they are preparing for summer. So they're going to get in that nicer coat. Now it's interesting because you are going to find that this happens in almost all breeds of rabbits unless you have a more particular breed that doesn't do this and it's going to always happen around two times every year throughout their entire lifespan. For some of your rabbits you might not even know that this is happening. I know that we have four different adult rabbits right now that are preparing for the winter months coming and only one of ours is having a really large molting that is going to need a little bit of help. During this time for the rabbits you're going to notice that the fur is going to start to molt or shed from the top of their nose and then carry on through the back. And I'll throw up some pictures of what the molting will look like on various different rabbits but you can see that for some it actually looks quite scary and this is nothing to be afraid of. This is just something that's gonna happen to your rabbit throughout their life. But there are a lot of things that you can do to help your rabbit out through the process. Now, number one is gonna be if your rabbit is just happening, this happened to them, you're gonna notice that the fur is going maybe into the tray underneath and that's totally fine. If there is a large buildup of hair, then you are probably gonna to wanna to remove that from the tray or the cage. And this is just because they will tend to eat some of the hair or they might start pulling it off of their own body and eat some of it and digest it. And this could cause them to have hairballs or it just get kind of stuck within them and not have that loose of stool. And you can see this if you go into your rabbit's tray and you actually look at some of their droppings and if there are pieces of droppings that are strung together with some hair, then this might be an issue that your rabbit is running into and this might be another time that you want to actually help your rabbit. So if you're noticing that your rabbit is taking a really long time to molt, anything really over two weeks is when you're going to want to intervene and help out. If you are working with meat rabbits, which we're doing primarily here, we have both New Zealand and Californian rabbits. And most of the time you're really not going to have to worry, but you are going to really want to step in and help out if there are large chunks or the molting has been going on for a really long time, just because this could cause some issues as they do eat it. So we actually have one of our rabbits today. His name is Chubbs and I'm going to be showing you guys what he looks like and what you can do if your rabbit is in a similar state. So I'm going to go ahead and grab him and bring him over to our table and we can go into a little more detail. Now I have our rabbit Chubbs down here and you can see that his hair is just coming straight off in huge clumps. So this would be an issue where you would really want to start to intervene and help him out. I'm just covering his eyes so that he feels comfortable here. Um, but you're gonna notice that during this molting time, a lot of your rabbits may have changes in their attitude. They may not wanna be picked up or pet as much because their skin 
is a lot more sensitive during this time. So it really can make the attitude of your rabbit change. This guy is such a nice, lovable rabbit that he's really not that bad. Now, the ways that you can really help out are one, just gonna be using your hands and kind of pulling out some of the fur. Now, if there are large clumps, you can kind of grab those and pull those out or just kind of brushing him with your hand. And you might wanna do this um, every day, every other day until they are done with the molting process or if you see that you need to kind of help out. So really go in and see what you think is necessary. Now, another way that you can do this is by taking either like a baby comb or some type of dog brush that is soft bristles and kind of just brushing in on your rabbits and getting out any of those with that. So this is gonna be something great that you can do here. So I'm gonna continue cleaning him up. This is gonna take a little bit of time here and then we'll tune back in and I'll give you a little more details on what you need to know when you're rabbit shedding. Shedding in rabbits is completely normal. This process is called molting, and you're gonna find that most of the time, especially with meat rabbits, you probably do not need to worry about this in any way, shape, or form, but it can be really nice to help them out, and it can help with stopping any clogs within their system, especially if they are digesting this, whether it's in their food bowl or in their cage, or they're just trying to clean themselves off and they're getting a lot of it in their mouths. Now, when you do help, you can use your hands or a brush. Now, you are going to be pulling off a lot of hair. I'm assuming a lot of it's gonna get in your clothes, but if you are able to save some, I suggest throwing it in a plastic baggie or a container and saving it for the colder months when you are breeding some of your does. And this way, if they aren't providing enough fur in their nest or pulling enough, then you can actually supplement with some of this as well. Now that's just a little bit about rabbits, but we have a full playlist down here and you can also subscribe to our channel up here. So I do suggest following along in our journey and learning more and comment down below if there's anything else that you would like to learn about homesteading with rabbits. Bye.